everyone welcome in this video i'm going to show you what's new in the cubase's 3.6.5 update this update is entirely free for all cubase's users and includes many features that are going to make your workflow even better in cubase let's check out what's new when it comes to producing, editing, and arranging, you're going to love this new feature in Cubase's 3.6.5. Now we have the option to do copy and paste of events really easily just by tapping and dragging. Let me show you how this works. As you can see, I have this track here that I played at the very beginning. And you can tell this is a four bar beat. So let's say I want to flesh this out into a full song. So what I want to do is I want to extend the events. I want to copy some parts around and then maybe try and rearrange things. Let's start with the drums. Let's say I want to extend my drums up to bar 24, for example. As you can see, when I select the event here, I have three boxes. If I tap and hold on the center box, you will see that I can now drag this and Cubasis copies the events until the point that I want. So you can copy events super easily in a split second. And of course, this works with multiple events as well. So as you can see, I've extended this arrangement to be 24 bars long, and now I can introduce variations. For example, I might go right here and mute this event. Maybe I will mute the piano as well, and I'm going to mute my vocal. And then I'm going to mute these parts here, and let's see how it sounds. Maybe a nice breakdown section. Maybe mute the guitar here. Let's see. So I can create arrangements and variations on the fly because now it's very easy to duplicate all these parts. Another way that you can use this feature creatively is if you want to create starter effects easily. For example, right here, I've isolated this 365 phrase. Let's listen to it. And now I can copy it across and maybe one more time. And then what I can do is I can change my snap settings and make it 16th notes here so i can just keep the five for example move it across and just hold and drag to copy and let's listen and i can do more starter effects like this and just extend The next thing that is going to really speed up your workflow, especially if you're working a lot with audio recordings, is the new audio glue. So up to this point, if you wanted to glue MIDI events together, it was very easily done. You could just select them, use your glue tool, and they would be glued together into one event. Now you can do the same thing with audio. For example, we've done all these chops here just now. What I can do is I can select all of them, and then all I need to do is hit my glue tool right here and you will see that these are now consolidated into one single audio event. Very handy, especially if you've done a bunch of edits and you want to be able to move these events really easily. Another feature request from Cubase's users was the ability to turn stereo files to mono. Let me show you how you can do this now in Cubase 3.6.5. All you need to do is double tap on a stereo file and now we are in the sample editor. Now, all you need to do is right here where it says stereo, you can just tap and now Cubase is going to ask you if you want to convert this file to mono. So if I hit OK, you will see that right now I have the same file in mono. Pretty neat. With Cubase's 3.6.5, we also have the option to search our instruments, our effects, and our presets. And this is very handy because as you know, with Cubase's, you can load audio unit plugins, instruments, and of course, if you have one of the instruments like the Halion Sonic Selection or the FM Classics, there's a ton of presets to go through. So a search function is really 
useful. Let me show you how it works. So for example, if I want to search my sounds inside Hylian Sonic selection that has a lot of presets, all I need to do is tap on the search bar here and just search for a sound. For example, I'm going to type choir and I get all the choir sounds that we have in Hylian Sonic selection. Or if I type EP, electric piano, I get all the sounds that have EP on their name. And it goes without saying, this works the same with audio unit plugins. For example, if I want to find my model D, I can just type model. And as you can see, I have the results there, model D and the model 15. And this works with audio plugins as well. So if I go to my audio units and type Pro Q, in the results, immediately I get Pro Q2 and Pro Q3 from FabFilter. Same goes for the internal effects. Brick wall limiter, I get the brick wall or spin effects. I just type it and I immediately get the result there. And if you've saved your own presets, these will also appear and they're also searchable. Another big improvement comes in the mixer and this is the metering. So now you will see that the meters are smoother, they're more accurate and they give you a better presentation of the audio. And now there's also peak hold support. You can access the settings by going to setup. You can go to user interface and then you will see we have mixer level meters. You can hold peaks for one second until you touch them or turn this off completely. Last but not least, we have new export options. Now you can export to MP3 and AIFF. So if I go to media, mix down, create mix down. Now you can mix down to MP3 and AIFF formats and also create mono down mixes. So there you go. This is what's new in the new Cubase 3.6.5. This is a free update. Go download it and have loads of fun with it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.